Hello, here we are again, uh, chemical equilibrium part three. In this case, we're going to look at uh, calculations, um, specifically ice tables. Okay, now I've done some of this work already, and let me explain what I've done so far uh, to save time. Uh, so what we have here is the Haber process, and the Haber process is um, where we have nitrogen gas and hydrogen gas combines to make ammonia gas. <clears throat> In this case, uh, what I've done as I've said, okay, uh, my initial concentrations of nitrogen gas are 0 0.40 moles, and my initial concentration of hydrogen gas is 0.96 moles. And I've said that my total volume of my reaction here is 2 liters. And so what I want to know then, taking that original mole concentration, I really need to know molarities, because remember, chemical equilibrium uses molarities in order to solve it. So we need molarities of reactants, molarities of products. Okay, I'm also told, and let's say that I also know that at chemical equilibrium or at the equilibrium constant, um, once this, this reaction goes to equilibrium, my NH3 or my ammonia ends up at 0.14 molar. So I know that this is at equilibrium. And these two right here are initial concentration. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up what's called an ice table. So an ice table looks like this. And of course, I stands for initial concentrations. Uh, so let's say that I, uh, I put my N2 here, and I have my 3H2, and then I have my NH3 over here. And so what I'm going to do is put all the values that go to those below them. And so my initial concentration I found right here is 0.2 molar, 0 0.20 molar. My initial concentration I found up here is 0.48 molar, okay? And uh, how did I get those molarities? So if you look up here, um, I originally started with 0 0.40 moles, and my total is 2 liters. So what I need to know is how many moles per 1 liter. So I divided the number of moles by the 2 liters to get a number of moles per 1 liter. Ended up with 0.2 on this one and 0.48 on this one. And so my initial concentration, um, of course, for this is going to be uh, 0 molar because uh, at first my initial concentration, I haven't made any of this. It's all reactants. Um, and now, now C stands for change. So the change right here, um, what we're going to do is we're going to say this is uh, going to be subtracted from. It's going to be a negative change. And there's only one mole of nitrogen gas, so I'm going to say this is negative change, negative X. And so I just have one unit of that. Um, and then this over here, though, I'm going to be subtracting from this, but I have three moles of hydrogen gas. So I'm going to have minus 3x. So notice the amount of x corresponds to the amount of moles of each thing in your reaction. And then if I look over here, uh, this one is going to be added to in the reaction. So because the reaction is progressing in this direction. So this one's going to be plus, and if we look up at the balanced equation, there's a 2 here. Sorry, I didn't write that in earlier. Let's get this a little bit less messy. That would be good. Okay, there we go. So this is going to be plus 2x, right? Um, because this is being added here, and both of these are going to be subtracted from, and this is going to be added. So now, what I can do is I can, for the E section, I can sort of treat this like an addition problem. And E, of course, stands for equilibrium. So at equilibrium, I'm going to have my 0 0.20 molars and I'm going to be subtracting x from it, right? And at equilibrium, I'm going to have 0.48 molars of this one, and I'm going to be subtracting 3x from that, because that's what the change is, c. Now, over here, um, I'm going to carry down my 2x, and I find out that my 2x, in the case of this particular reaction, or this particular instance, equals 0.2 one four molar. So I find out that uh, this is 2x equals 0.14 molar. So then um, I can simply figure out what x equals. If, if 2x equals 0.14 molar, well then x equals 0.70. Oops, write that correctly. 70 molar, right? 
um, once again, didn't write that correctly, 0 0.07 molar. Okay, now that looks a little bit better. So 0 0.07 molar is what x is going to equal. So now, now this isn't all that difficult. So now all we have to do is look at this. Okay, well, what is 0 0.20 minus x? Well, if x equals 0 0.07, well, then we have 0 0.20 minus 0 0.07, which is going to leave us with uh, 0.13 molar. And this is at equilibrium. And what about 0.4x or 0.48 minus 3x? Well, so that's going to be 0.48 minus 3 times 0 0.07. And that's going to end us up at 0.27 molar. So if you didn't get that, go back and uh, listen to it again. But, uh, but simply all we're doing right here is what it says to do. You're going to subtract x from 0.2. You're going to set 3 times x from 0.48. And you found out what x equals from the information you were given up here. Now you can be given other parts of these, but as long as you have um, enough of the variables to fill in, you can figure everything else from them, and they will always give you uh, enough of the variables in order to fill in what you need. All right, so now what do we do? Well, now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to write um, the equilibrium constant expression. So in this case, uh, we're talking about molarities, so we have a Kc. So the Kc is going to equal the concentration of the products. And we know the concentration of the products because they told us, and that was 0.14 molar. And um, now, since we've done our ice tables, we know the concentration of the reactants as well. And, uh, whoops, this is squared because that's a 2 right there. And uh, we also know that we have, um, in this case, 0.13 molar of the nitrogen gas. And that does not have an exponent because it's a 1 in the balanced equation. And we are going to have 0.27 and that's going to be to the third power. So now you see you can easily take this uh, square point one four and divide it by point or divided by point one three. That should be a point there. Point one three times point two seven cubed. Um, the answer you get if you calculate that out on your calculator is going to be seven point six six. So the KC in this case equals seven point six six. Um, something interesting to note, there are not units associated with equilibrium constant expression. So um, if you were going to write the final answer here, the Kc would just equal 7.66. Although I only use two significant digits up here, so I should probably round my answer down to 7.7. Uh, there's my final answer for... The Kc, starting with initial concentrations and starting with a concentration of the product at equilibrium and using an ice table in order to figure out the answer.